So when the curator approached me about this project with the brief, so I was thinking how to engage the audience with the artwork in, in a train and staircase. For me, it's a very interesting uh, architectural feature because it leads from one point to another and it's about ascending and descending. Since this work is within a cabin of the train, it involves the floor and the wall. So I thought because of the windows and features on the wall, the focus should be on the floor. Why spiralling? Because spiral itself actually relates to continuity, growth, as well as in nature. So it has this dynamism. So it relates to the theme of being in progress, always in flux. The Malayan dance is actually a continuation and development of my past work that I made in 2015. I incorporated the Chinese lion dance and the Malayan together, imagining a scene where the Malayans are warding off the uncertainties, the unnecessary and the unwanted. This artwork was created at the close of 2019 and was very much inspired by the past year, hence the title Reflections. It was a year in which everything kind of came to a bit of a standstill as we faced a global situation. I was inspired by this time as one for reset revaluation and rejuvenation of ourselves and our planet. So while humans retreated into their homes to combat the virus, other living things on Earth really flourished. My work, Train Titanics, deals with how human beings move in space. I'm interested in how people are interacting with one another with or without knowing it in terms of our body scent our presence, our glances and our discomfort. And like during COVID, I realised lots of how we take temperatures in when we enter the shopping mall, infrared thermal imaging, so that the colours echoes how the body is reduced to spectrum of colours. It communicates how it evolves and it changes according to the landscape. I think uh, Sticky was a work that we've been planning for some time. Ever since the circuit breaker and the prevalence of stickers uh, that we use to mark ourselves and to give us the temperature that we are, are we allowed to go in, and all these sort of things sort of inspired uh, an idea to how we should think about the way that we are being sort of controlled in this uh, pandemic. The second part of the work is uh, where we started to paste uh, stickers on monkeys. We were thinking we don't need to look at other humans to think about ourselves. So yeah. then we were thinking what's more fun, uh, what's also what can appeal to an audience. Uh, so then we decided to put them onto monkeys. I hope my audiences will be delighted and have a sense of euphoria after they view the installation. It'd be heartwarming for people to be to be surprised by what they see because the train is such a normal and mundane mode of transport. I hope that viewers will be inspired to think about what matters most to them, what they appreciate and love most about the present. Also to imagine what a better world looks like for them and hopefully take action and small steps toward making it happen. We use our art in general to think and express about the issues at large in society. Life is always in progress and uh, knowing that this project is also initiated because of the pandemic. And uh, so I thought, whatever happens, you still have to continue with life. I think that's how we can overcome these testing times.